Uh, first thing to notice is the next computer is fully multitasking. So rather than quitting something, I can hide it. And it will hide it over here behind these icons, in this case, the next logo. And this is the equivalent of the Finder. And as we move windows around, you can see we move the whole windows and the menus. And if we like a menu, we can tear it off and leave it on the screen. OK, let's hide this. And let's go look at our mail. We click here, and in a few seconds, we're in our mail. I read my mail approximately 25 times a day. And the reason I do that is because in the middle of working, I can, within two seconds, be reading my mail. Here's some mail. Uh, Let's take a look. Uh, here's a summary of the messages up here. And I just click on one from James Higa having to do with housing. And the first thing I note is that uh, our mail doesn't include just normal looking text. We can have any postscript text we want in any size or font. And of course, we can scan in pictures and have full pictures. In addition, on the top here, we have a picture of the person that sent it, James Higa. We have the date and the time that it was sent. We can find things. We have all sorts of mailboxes, and if we uh, want to create a mailbox, uh, it's very easy to create a mailbox and file things away. Uh, if I want to send this mail to somebody, I just push send and a window pops up here, and I can reply to the sender, or I can forward the mail, in which case the text and the picture gets copied into there, and I can add voice to it, which we'll see in just a second as well. I can delete the message, or I can move between them. Uh, most people never read a manual to use this and yet it's the most sophisticated mail system that exists. Uh, here's another example of some scanned in images. Uh, we were told that uh, you can go have breakfast at the zoo here. Uh, and uh, here's another example of someone sending a scanned image about a uh, recent article about the developments taking place in Singapore and some of the, uh, the planning that's going on here. So again, we send these images not just around our company, but around the country and around the world through the mail system. Let's move on. This is um, something that we used when we introduced our product uh, in Tokyo last July with Canon. And uh, this is the voice of Mr. Tanaka, who is the number two person in Canon. Canon to next to the computer world. So as you see, the way we got that was that Somebody recorded a voice message, very simply, and these lips appeared in the mail message. <laughs> and I just click on them and I get what's called lip service. <laughs> and I just push a button that sounds a lot, looks a lot like a simple tape recorder. Here's another one. This is the Canon Company song. So Full CD quality sound, sent around the country, sent around the world. Um, let me give you another one. And again, you can see how voice is very easy to use and uh, how the recipient just clicks on it. To see. Now, voice is interesting and voice annotation, but let's say I write a document in a spreadsheet, in a word processor, or I have a program that I want to send to you. What we do in this mail system is you just drag the icon right in. And here's an icon created with a word processor called Right Now. Somebody wrote a document, they just dragged it in. Here's some quotes from third-party developers about the IBM announcement. They were extremely pleased with the news. I, as the recipient, just click on this thing, and up pops the document in a second here. Should, anyway. <laughs> there we go. OK. Here it is, press release done in a word processor. And this is an example of inner application communication, something that the other systems are promising two years from now. We've been shipping for a year. Full messaging between applications. Let me show you another example of that we'll come back to later. Uh, I could pick any word in here. Uh, let's take Alliance. And I go over here and I request a definition in Webster's. Remember I told you that we had a full dictionary online? 25 megabytes of data. It got messaged when I made that request. It launched itself. It's looking up the word alliance. And there it is. With the thesaurus as well. So we'll come back to that in a minute. OK. 
Um, here's another one that we're using around Next a lot. This is not a product yet. Everything else you, you're seeing today is a product. But this is, uh, we decided to automate all of our purchase and check requests. So here's a message. Here's the purchase request I mentioned to you yesterday. If everything's okay, please forward it to purchasing as soon as possible. I just double click on it. And up comes something that looks a lot like a purchase requisition. I know you probably can't read this out there. I say authenticate it. And I'm asked to type in my name and my password, which is more secure than signing it. And uh, it's a... Do you really need this? <laughs> this is our expense control here. Well, all right. So this is how we actually approve things <laughs> at Next. Okay, let's see. Um, again, just to show you uh, the kinds of things we send around, this is an example of a frame document, and uh, we create uh, a lot of our sophisticated publishing in frame. Oh, uh, let's see. And so someone might send this through the mail in terms of a new brochure, in this case, Eddie Lee, who's our chief designer. There we go. And this is actually in the brochure that you got in the packages today. And we uh, not only wrote it, but uh, produced it, got all the approvals, and sent it around for revision, all electronically. OK. Um, oh, this next one's interesting. Somebody has sent me a Wings spreadsheet. Wings is shipping on our platform. Ashton Tate is announcing an extremely great spreadsheet in Ju June. And Lotus is introducing a revolutionary spreadsheet a little later on this year. But here's a wing spreadsheet. And uh, I take a look at this. I just double click on it. And up pops a spreadsheet. No, that's not what I wanted. Huh. OK. There we go. The Acme Software Business Plan, Revenue Versus Expenses. Now, this is interesting, and I can take a look at it, but just a raw spreadsheet with raw data doesn't help me, especially as a manager. So I go down here, and I push audio explanation. And all of a sudden, the spreadsheet comes alive. Hi, Steve. This is the Acme Software Revenue versus Expense Analysis. If you look at their current business plan, they expect to go profitable around Q3 1991 where those lines cross and exit Q4 1991 at about $2 million gross revenue run rate. If you take a look at how Next Step can impact that, hit the button that says Show Next Step Impact, you'll see that the number of programmers goes down, development time is shortened, and marketing costs uh, through joint marketing with Next is reduced. That should bring some business in sooner and Bottom line is they'll, they'll go profitable by our predictions around Q2 19 is uh, about a year. That's almost a year earlier than they had originally planned. Um, also exiting Q4 1991, they'll be at about a five and a half million dollar gross revenue per quarter run rate. That's almost 2x where they were in the original business plan. Secondly, if you hit the IBM market impact button, you'll see that the forecast numbers will go up after they port to the IBM platform, uh, allowing their allowing their software to reach a, a greater market. That would leave them Q4 1991 at about a $13 million gross revenue per quarter run rate. Um, serious impact to their business plan, about five to six times what they originally thought they could do. Sounds like Next Step is a good fit for them. We'll be working with them to get their project going. Thanks. Can you do this with your mail system? <laughs> what do you think of this? To me, it shows why interpersonal computing is going to dwarf the first two revolutions. And the reason is, is that not only does it revolutionize human-to-human -human communication, but it includes the first two. I can enclose in it anything I can create with desktop publishing and anything I can create with, with spreadsheets. And I can add to that voice annotation and some other things along with it, send it off in a package and, and reach people instantly. OK. Now, let's see. Um, last thing I wanted to show you was uh, one of the last things was here's uh, this is going to seem a little crude today, 
because we don't yet have full video. But just to give you a feeling for where things are going, imagine if sometime next year you could click on something and get full color video in a window. And we could send this around in a compressed form, fully digitally. This will give you just a feeling for that because it's black and white today and the resolution's not so good. Well, meanwhile, on this coast, one of Hollywood's oldest talent agencies, the William Morris Agency, and one of Silicon Valley's newest computer companies, Next Computers, announced today the installation of a custom computer system at the agency. It's more than a business story, more than a technology story, because this could affect what you see on the big and small screens. Sherry... Again, this is very crude today, but you can imagine where this kind of thing is going. Okay. And the last thing uh, was uh, we heard that this was a special week here, so we just digitized some music, sent it through the mail system. There was a time when people said that Singapore won't make it, but we did. There 